Alright then everyone. I'm just making sure I'm out of zoom. It's a good idea for me to check that each time I start a video actually. I've often started the video on zoom, forgetting, or I zoom into something and forget to zoom out. Right, this is um, leaving Crooks Peak, uh, which is just behind me there. We'll see it again in a minute. I've just crossed over a bridge over the M5 motorway. And I'm now making my way to the little church to have a little rest. I haven't got a lot to eat. I've just got nibbles, really. This leads us... These cars are all going to the village of Loxton. I see they've got a new sign up now. We turn down here. Actually, this, there is a sign of Loxton. I'll just zoom in. There's the village of Loxton sign. A village with no pub. No shops. Hasn't even got a post office. And guess what? We've got the West Mendip Way again. And a pub comes pub crawl, but there's no pub here. You've got to go about another six miles before you find a pub. Of course, the first time I learnt about the part of this route, from Weston to Wells, I did it several years in raising money for Save the Children. Um, it was a 22-mile walk from Weston to Wells. I did it with the Army Cadets, and I did it with the nurses when I was a nurse. Now, there we are. There's Crook's Peak. I'll just zoom in. We'll see this, well we always see this, it's a big landmark. There's some people standing right on the top there. who were ahead of me ages ago. They've probably been having a picnic up there. They stood right on the top. Of course, I'm doing my walk. I recognise the bloke, actually. Uh, I recognise both of them. They must have been, they've been up there a good hour. Some people only go up there and then walk back to their car, you see. Yeah, they said it might go, for, go a bit overcast this afternoon. It's, it is, there is like a chill in the air, by the way. Right, here we go. Now we've got another... That probably takes you somewhere as well. There's lots of places I haven't explored. Um, but here we go, through this gate. And across this field will be the church. It's a really pleasant walk, this is. I've done it quite a few times now. Like I said, the very first time was back in the... <sighs> late 80s, early 90s, when I first done it. I was a lot fitter then. I was a marathon runner in those days. <sighs> Never got a short breath. Never, my feet never ached, and I was probably three or four stone lighter, <coughs> and that's true. I was eight and a half stone for years, and then I went up to nine, <sighs> then I went up to ten, and I stayed at ten for quite a few years, 
quite a few years, maybe 20 years. I only started putting on weight um, let me see, when did I really start putting on weight? 55 onwards, it gradually crept up. Yeah, once I'd retired. There's nothing, let's have another zoom in up there. It's really good, this camera, for Zoom. We're just making our way over to the old, old church now. Which is there. It's quite well camouflaged, actually. It's not too fancy or anything. See, look, there it is, little tower. We're very close to the motorway, so you can probably hear it. The sirens. Uh, once I get up on that other side of this village, up on the hill, that's really, we're in Weston's territory then, really. <coughs> up above those trees there. Uh, it is a bit of a hike up again, but then when it starts levelling out. Um, there's a, there is a risk of a couple of cow fields closer to Bleeden. There is a risk at one point there. But once again, they might not have let them out yet. I'm sure this is a new gate, even though I was here a year ago. Looks new. Alright, I'm just going to turn off for a minute and take some pictures from here. Then I'll come back on again at the church. <laughs> 